Hello and welcome guys. So in this video we would be discussing about set data structure in Java. So let's get started. So basically what is a set data structure? So a set is a collection of elements that, con that cannot contain duplicate elements. Okay. It models the mathematical set abstraction. It means that the mathematical set that we had studied in our class 9th and 10th that if you could remember of that Venn diagram also so basically it is a mathematical representation of that kind only and it provides certain elements such as union intersection of elements so if you add duplicate elements to it it does not contain those duplicate elements it would only contain one element of all of them and the classes that implemented this set is your hash set, tree set, linked hash set and enum set. Okay, all these classes differ in various forms. But yeah, the internal implementation is of your set only. Okay, and the major advantage of using set data structure over other data structures such as lists, arrays, etc. is that other data structures provide you with the linear time complexity okay whenever you do add operations remove operations search operations there's a time complexity that is a linear time complexity whereas a set data structure provides you with a constant time complexity throughout so it is recommended that you use set instead of other data structures as well as there are various applications of uh, set data structure like uh, for example if you are to find or if you are to remove duplicate elements from your array you can add that array into your set and from that you could do other operations as per the question requirement okay so now let us see a brief overview of how the set operation works in the coming videos we would be discussing about all these uh, classes that is a hash set tree set in detail because my main aim of creating this video is just for the sake of your understanding that how this data structure would work so that you have an idea that how a set is how to implement set or how to use this set interface okay so now let's move to our coding part so in order to create a set we use set and generic type so i am making a set of integers see we have three classes hash set tree set and linked hash set so now we are using hash set see over why i am giving overview in this video because the, why do you think that a set has a constant time complexity this is because of a, a concept called hashing or a hash function okay so in the further coming videos we would be discussing about how it generates a hash for a particular element okay so now for now you should understand how a brief overview of set works so i am adding certain elements to it first of all you can add elements in this way also and by um, using a for loop also so So I have created a set and added some elements to it. So if we print this set, we would be getting, we won't be getting duplicate elements. Okay, see. You are, we are getting 33, 1, 2, 12 and 11. So we had studied about three uh, classes that implement this. 
so if we had used tree set instead of hash set then the this output you are seeing would have come uh, in a sorted order see I'm getting my point so this is your sorted order if you use tree set whereas linked hash set if you want to have an insertion uh, if you want to maintain insertion order you could even use uh, the linked hash set so now the other method of with use of array if you are using array then how to print or add elements to the set you see our array length is of nine elements okay so now if we use in this set so how to use this So now if you check both these sizes there would be a variation of size as well as a variation of elements oops array set dot size it would be see you had nine as the length of your array and seven because of a uh, 44 is repeating twice and 55 is repeating twice that's why it has excluded uh, those elements that are repeating for the second time so what uh, is the behind the scene okay so if I remove all this what is being happening behind the scenes so if you do do set dot add one so add method returns boolean okay so it would return true for those but if you do now set dot add again one so it would return false and only print one two yes as expected because one has uh, one was entered in our set beforehand so now for this value it is checking that in our set is there one present or not see if if it finds that one is present in our set so it would return false okay so this is the basic working of this set so now if we want to do union and intersection operations so how to do that So now if you can see that all the elements of set 1 and set 2 have been added to our list. Okay. Similarly, there is an operation called uh, retain all. It would be printing the intersection portions of your set both the sets 
so only intersection part is 32 in both of the sets okay and you have uh, operation of to delete an element from the set to delete all the elements or to retain only the elements present in one set so dot uh, remove all so in this also except 33 all elements would be printed okay so in this way your set operation works so i hope you got uh, understanding about how your set interface works and the classes so now in the further videos we would be discussing about the internal implementation of your hash set class that internally how and what it implements so for your understanding we would be uh, continuing this video next time till then happy coding and thanks for watching